what's up fellow YouTubers, how's it going? And welcome to Knowing Final Cut Pro 10 with Joe D. Now today what we're going to cover is the topic of color correction in Final Cut Pro 10. Now before we begin, I want to explain the difference between color correction and color grading. Now, color correction is basically what it says. Color correction. You correct something so it looks normal. So a lot of people confuse color correction with color grading. Now what color grading is, is a fancy word of saying looks, a fancy word of saying the film look, the CIS look, you know, basically anything that has to do with stylistic kind of looks. Let's say if you want to get the the crime investigation kind of look to your film or your, uh, you know, your video, that's called color grading, while color correction is basically correcting everything so it looks normal and uh, basically here in Final Cut Pro 10 there are a lot of tools integrated so you can color correct right inside your NLE so let me first uh, before we get started again I just want to talk a little bit about color correction in Final Cut Pro 10 before in Final Cut Pro 7 Final Cut Pro 10's predecessor there used to be a separate application called color now in that application, what you would do is basically you would export your footage from Final Cut Pro 7 into color, a separate application, and then you would do your color correction there precisely using some meters, some tools, and basically round trip that footage, render it back out to Final Cut Pro 7. That way you could still work on your film. There was a lot of limitations to that, and quite frankly, it was a little bit hectic. So you had to know how to precisely round trip. If not, then your footage will basically just look horrible and then basically you know you it would it was basically a round tripping nightmare but now in final cut road 10 they give you all of the tools all of the meters everything you have to do in order to color correct your footage precisely and basically it looks really nice and um i can't recommend this program enough if you, uh, you know, basically are into maybe color correcting or color grading, Final Cut Pro 10 is a great, great candidate. So go download it from Apple. It's 30 days for, you know, for a free trial. And if you like it, just buy it. $300 is worth every, everything. So let's get started. Now, look at my screen. You're looking at an example of a bad cameraman. I told this guy that we had to do a shoot for National Geographic on butterflies and January is almost around the corner and basically I can't work with this footage. Uh, it looks horrible. He filmed this and uh, I told him to film with a nice camera and uh, you know I sent him an email and I said you know what film it with the uh, Sony uh, you know FX1 camera opposed to anything else and he's like oh I thought you could uh, you know film it with your iPhone so he filmed it with the iPhone and basically he gave me this and uh, this is not cool now two things basically this image the midtones of this image are really high and basically we have no shadows whatsoever on this footage so what we have to do is color correct this footage so it looks normal and that's what we're gonna do so let's get started now First of all, let's just examine this. Okay, as you can see, it looks horrible. So now what you want to do is you want to go to File, Create a New Project, or Work from Your Sequence. Let's call this Color Correction for demonstration's sake. Let's go down to the default event. Color Correction is great. Now let's go to Video Properties, and let's set this automatically based on the first video clip. And we're not going to work with audio, but always choose custom and choose stereo because if you work with a surround sound uh, basically you know what you're doing so my recommendation is go to custom and choose stereo click OK great now we have our timeline now we have to bring this clip in to our timeline we have three ways of doing that we could either get the selection and drag it here we could click this button or we could press the letter E okay great I press the letter E now let's command plus to zoom in on our clip okay great now as you can see we have our clip in our timeline now what we have to do is we have to color correct it now before we actually color correct we have to do some things to the Final Cut Pro 10 interface if you're not working with two monitors 
basically you only have one you have to adjust some things in Final Cut Pro 10 in order for you to kind of see the colors more precisely so here's what I want you to do I set the default layout as you would have it on your screen so do this click this button here in your events browser so that way you hide your events now what I want you to do is grab point your mouse pointer in between these two windows and drag hold and drag to the left as much as you can that way you have more screen estate now that you have more screen estate what I want you to do is click on your footage then click on top of this button it looks like a little switch and I want you to hit the first option show video scopes sweet okay great now if you're not seeing what I'm seeing click on your clip go to settings and then click on the waveform tool and then you'll see what I'm seeing okay great now that we have this let's first analyze what are you seeing what is this Base, uh, Joe what, what is this okay let me just explain basically in every video there is one of these here and these is this is called your Luma H L E and basically what this means is how high are the whites and how low are the blacks now let me just give you guys an analyzation of this whole thing look at the values here we have negative 20 0 25 50 75 100 and finally 120 now what's the correct format or what is this basically your zeros are your blacks and your 100 value is your white so this line must be touching 100 in order to get true whites and these things here must be touching the zero in order to get true blacks I don't know if you've noticed sometimes on TV television you might see blacks that look purple basically your blacks are in the 25 area so it looks purple so maybe those people didn't color correct but now you know also whenever you have this and this here basically touching these you will have something that's called the high contrast ratio so you're gonna have a lot of ratio in between the clip thus expanding those colors so it looks really really nice so it just stands out okay now let's get started now what you want to do is you want to click on your clip click on the inspector window now notice how your footage just shrunk dramatically and that's because of the screen estate so do what I told you to do and uh, you'll get what I see right here now we're gonna work with the color palette mostly okay so once you have your footage clicked go to a frame where it looks evident like right there okay great notice how our colors keep on changing okay we have to bring the blacks down and we have to give the midtones a bit more uh, contrast so what we have to do is click on the color palette go to the correction the first correction that you have click on this triangle now you're gonna see three tabs you're gonna see color saturation and exposure the color kinda looks fine here so we're not gonna mess around with the color the saturation eh, it looks alright so we're not gonna mess with the saturation but the exposure we're gonna work with the exposure because the exposure determines your blacks and your whites okay now what does this have in relation to this basically your whites are your highlights your midtones are your midtones and your blacks are your shadows okay great what we have to do is we have to bring the blacks down so what do we do great we bring the shadows down so click on this lever and bring it down till it touches zero okay notice how my lever is all the way down but it's not touching the zero why is that because as a rule of thumb of color correcting you should always 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 manipulate your shadows your highlights and then your midtones because that defines what is what and where is what so uh, yeah let's continue now that we have our shadows all the way down now what we have to do is assist the shadows by going to the highlights let's bring the highlights a bit up okay now that it's hitting zero let's get the highlights I mean the midtones and bring them down so notice how I'm bringing it down alright okay great 
Now notice one more thing. The shadows didn't hit the zero. So what you would have to do is grab this lever here. You see this lever? Bring it down because that's a gradual change. Basically this changes the whole value of this whole system. So bring it down till it touches zero. Then notice how this changed again. You're gonna have to constantly change things. So now we go back to our highlights, bring it up, and let's bring our midtones a bit up. Bring these down, bring this down a little bit, bring this up, bring the midtones up, and there we have it. Now we have a high contrast ratio clip in this. So notice how basically we manipulated everything using this, the exposure tab, and using this. Okay, great. So now that we did that, basically we have our blacks to blacks and we have our whites to whites. That's it. That's all there is to it. So before we get, uh, before we see before and after comparison, let me just talk to you about some things. First of all, whenever you're working with this correction here, with this window, it's called the Luma Vectorgram window, make sure you always have your whites under 100. Because if you have your whites over 100, and you broadcast this over television, your audio will distort because your whites are gonna be over, overexposed. Thus, that messes with the audio. Not a lot of people know that, but just notice that in one of those cheesy late night commercials, their whites are so overexposed that the audio quality drains out. So just notice that, just letting you know. Also, make sure your blacks always kind of hit zero, even though, as you notice here, these don't hit zero. That's okay because this is basically the grass and notice how the grass is kind of blurred out and this is the center of the shot. So this is what has to be color corrected. So notice how we have orange here, we have orange here, orange here, and orange here. Basically these blacks should be true and these could be anything but make sure you have them at a close range. Okay great. Now in order to see your full image let's go back to this tab click on it once and then select hide video scopes sweet look at that amazing now let's look at a before and after so let's hide our color correction palette by clicking on this triangle and let's click on this blue indicator here so basically what that does is it makes it active and it makes it disactive so whenever you click on it you'll see your before and when you click on it, you'll see your after with the corrections. Look at that. From that to this. We brought all of the color back, all the blacks back, and all of the whites white. So that's it. That's all there is to color correction. So remember, color correction is very different from color grading. Color grading is just looks. Alrighty, thank you very much for looking at this tutorial. If you made it here, then you probably learned something, and I hope you apply this to your footage. And if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And also, uh, send me a um, like this video, and make sure to subscribe, because I'm going to give you guys a lot of tips on filmmaking. Especially now, since winter break is almost here. Alrighty, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Make sure to check out my past two videos. Alrighty, bye-bye. Thank you.